Yo, what's going on, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, in today's video, guys, we're on a brand new upcoming old screenscape private server called Aurora. This server looks very interesting, guys, and it's going to be launching on the 29th, so basically a week away from when I launch this video. If you're watching it right now, guys, make sure and hop in game because it's currently in beta. And if you join for five hours of beta, you get an exclusive Gilded h -Wing mask, also a free donator upon launch, guys, which is insane. So obviously hop in game, check out the beta, and get those free rewards. With that being said, we're also going to be hosting a pretty large giveaway for the release. So two super mystery boxes, one to each lucky winner. So two lucky winners on today's video, guys. And we'll roll that in about a week after the launch. So give you a little bit of time to enter. If you want to know, guys, make sure and like the video, comment down below your Aurora IGN, and of course, subscribe to the channel. They are also hosting a lot of old Scrutinscape GP giveaways as well, including a 150 mil old Scrutinscape GP going right now, guys. So if you want to join the Discord, go to the giveaway section and enter up in that. You can do so. But yeah, guys, let's hop into the video and hope you enjoy. So yeah guys, basically what I'll be doing for today's video is doing a quick little tour of what Aurora has to offer, get you all stoked for the launch, and um yeah, let's hop into it. First things first, of course, is going to be their juicy customized home area. You'll actually see they offer a lot, including gambling. Gambling's definitely a piece of content I enjoy overall, so good to see it. Looks like they have a nice little tournament area right here as well, so those should be quite active. Definitely stay on top of the world events as well, so the quest tab, orange icon for this favorite events, you'll see capture the flag. Dead Man's Chest, Pirate Ship, Fragment of Seren, Old the Fort, and Glod. So these are a great way to stay active with the community and just have fun. And of course, get some rewards. So you'll see uh, these actually drop a lot of good stuff, by the way, guys. So, like these are all the favorite events. There's also Time Rift. So you'll see uh, a Time Rift has started to use Colon Colon Rift to travel to the event. This is basically another way for the community to get together and of course, get some rewards, guys. So you'll see Kill West Mobs, Team Shards, 0 out of 750. Must do this with a group. Get all the shards together then i'm assuming you get some op rewards travel west and kill as many mobs as you can in the next 60 seconds so there's like different tasks you'll get for the entire team or the saver this is actually lit at home you'll actually see a, a deep wild pvp scoreboard so you can actually keep up with this and you get rewarded so first place 600 pkp second 300 third 150 even shows the uh, edgeville leaderboard so it's edgeville and deep wild so uh this is quite cool keeps people competitive Honestly, a very nice little layout to the home area. You got some skilling additions here as well. Mr. Chewy getting to work. I like to see it. So yeah, we got an AFK tree right here where we can uh, just AFK, get easy AFK dust. There's also a uh, AFK Zalcano. What the heck? AFK Esperia. Dude, this is like all freaking AFK stuff. Just one big layout, guys. We got the Great Vault. That looks sick. Okay, okay. Prayer Altars. You got other things over there, so... Yeah, you'll also see the teleport platforms right here in the middle of the home as well, which offers easy access to every teleporting game, donator zones, events, cities, wilderness, scaling, all the dungeons and bosses. Of course, we're on an old school saber, so you get the old school base bosses like Skatizo, Next, Nightmare. They offer all that. They've also heavily focused some wilderness content, so we got things like the Serim boss, etc. Fully working raids like Chambers of Zarek, Winter TOD, and I'm assuming more might be coming. We gotta keep in mind the server is still in beta for like 10 more days, so there's so much stuff they could be adding over that time. It honestly amazes me how much they offer right now, guys, on the forums. They have donation info, money making, pet database, PvP skilling, staff information, literally everything, guys. Wet burning and armor, wilderness information. The players here on the beta have been super active, guys, so come and check up the forums, get a little walkthrough of what they uh, offer here as well. There's a lot you can read through. The server is definitely focusing heavy PVM content, so you'll see here Edgeville Daily PvP Rewards, so 15 kills will get a small PvP box, 50, medium. These will be uh, changed out daily as well, so plenty of rewards to claim, and PKing will be pretty active. Achievements are all categorized, so we got Easy, Medium, Hard, Elite, Master. These are fucking sick. The better rewards are definitely going to be in the Elite and Master. You'll get free boxes, guys. You'll get loads of cash. And um, yeah, this will keep you busy. Also, it's just fun to complete achievements. They've honestly put loads of time into the development of each piece of content here on Aurora. And it's so nice to see. Fully working collection logs. So we got bosses, raids, clues, minigames. This is definitely lovely. And it looks like there's like tiered stuff. I don't know if this is uh, legit, but whatever this is. Like these tiers you're getting from Theater of Blood pretty nice to see i'm kind of intrigued to know so to be fair with you the quest tab is going to be your best friend guys we got pet perks look at this dude shows you all the perks for every single pet they offer here 
That's freaking clean. Also, draw viewer so you can like search monsters or buy item. I thoroughly enjoy you can actually go to all shops in one shop. So look at this, voting shop, donation shop, skilling. Literally go to one person or one PC and you can categorize it through. So that is so neat. So much easier than trying to find each different shop. It's just all in one area. On top of that, they have uh, item enchanting and things like that. So this is literally everything you'd want with an old school server. Fully working presets. You got quick gear, arenas. Once you create an account, you'll have a uh, choice between PvP mode or regular. So if you choose PvP, you actually get quick gears. So you can go straight into PvP, guys. So that's actually quite nice to see as well. Fully working rune light, like I said. So everything is just here. Hop in the game on this launch, guys. Be online beta as well for the pre-launch beta rewards. Loads of stuff to get you excited, and the launch is on the 29th. So be online, guys. Huge giveaways going as well. So be a part of that. But yeah, with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. And I do hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely feel like the launch will be huge. So make sure and be around for it, guys. Click those links down below. Join the Discord. Join the beta. And I'll see you in the next one.